1943. A world at war. A world in turmoil. We closed the trap on Hitler's North Africa campaign. But what next? Churchill urged an Allied invasion of Italy. Called the Mediterranean the soft underbelly of the crocodile. The Americans took some convincing. But Winston won them over. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, Allied Commander-in-Chief, is masterminding the entire Mediterranean strategy. As for me, I'm headed for San Salini, a secluded island to Italy's southwest. We've been losing ships in the area. British intelligence thinks the Luftwaffe's presence on Sansolini might explain why. The Royal Navy dispatched a captured Italian freighter, the Orchidia, to investigate. She was equipped with the very latest radio interception equipment. The intelligence she gathered confirmed our worst fears. The Nazis have a new wonder weapon. Survivors from the destroyed ships have talked about a new kind of missile. Radio controlled from the plane that launched them. These rockets can track our ships with lethal accuracy. The Orchidia's job was to monitor Luftwaffe radio transmissions and find out what the Germans are up to. Even if that meant making the ultimate sacrifice. Now we need to know what the Nazis are planning, and how we can stop them. A member of the Luftwaffe's top brass is on the island. General Tobias Schmidt. It's no secret Hitler thinks highly of him. Schmidt would never let himself be taken alive. And he'd never betray his beloved Fuhrer. But he might just be carrying some information we can use. My mission? Kill Schmidt, kill all high-ranking officers, and get the hell out. Need to make sure those men didn't die in vain. Need to find out all I can about the new rocket. Reckon I could take this fellow down without making a noise. <gasps> Holding my breath will steady my shot. That boat is my way off this island. One name 
kept coming up from Sansolini. Andreas Kessler. Genius rocket scientist. Pioneer of guided missile technology. Philanderer. Alcoholic. Committed Nazi. Kessler's specialty was long-range missiles. But SOE thought he couldn't solve the radio control issues. The destruction of the Arcadia suggests we were wrong. Very wrong. There's no doubt the Orchidia was an easy target for a test. But if the Nazis have a controllable long-range missile, it would completely transform the war in their favor. American intelligence, OSS, think Kessler is in Italy. Probably under the protection of a brutal Nazi general called Heinz Bohm. I've been dispatched to the coastal town of Batanti to meet our OSS contact. With the invasion of Sicily imminent, it's crucial we find out what the Nazis are up to. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Receiving you, Red Fox. American observation plane has spotted relay tower on outskirts of town. Neutralize mobile radio operator before he can summon reinforcements. Also, deal with the sniper. Out. Red Fox out. <laughs> Lieutenant Carl Fairburn. Nice job on Sansolini, especially given the circumstances. A lot of brave men died on the Orchidia. We need to make sure their sacrifice was worth it. We need to find Kessler. Yep, they told me you were a to-the-point kind of guy. I'm Jack Weaver, by the way. OSS appreciates the necessity for urgency, Carl, but we have to be a little careful here. What do you know about Heinz Bohm? The Butcher of Bologna. Yeah, Bohm is a sadistic bastard. Slippery one, too. We still don't know what he looks like. Oh, his handiwork, though, well, it's everywhere. We think he's the one handling Kessler. Find Bohm, find Kessler, I get it. Your people think the best bet is to reach out to the local resistance. Given our past experience with the Partisans, we, uh... think it might be a little difficult, but we're willing to give it another try. I need a name and a location. The leader is a woman by the name of Sofia de Rocco. They, huh, they call her the Angel. You'll find her in the town. Okay, I'll give it a try. Carl, listen to me. The Nazis have been conducting a rastrellamento. They've been sweeping up the town, rounding up partisans, and... Chances are the executions have already begun. Do you know where they are? Your guess is as good as mine. Partisans have an HQ. You find that, might be some help. I'm on it. Carl? This place, it's a tinderbox. You just need to find something to start the fire. <laughs> hey, you don't sound too well. You must be Lieutenant Fairburn. I've been told to take you to our leader, Sophia. We call her the Angel. I'll make my own way. The fascists have conducted a rastrellamento. They've gone through the town, taking our people. The Angel is planning a rescue. She sounds like a brave woman. You know about Commando Bethel. Fear can issue whatever orders he likes. You're a commando. It means they will shoot you on sight rather than take you prisoner. This doesn't scare you. Occupational hazard. <coughs> it's good death doesn't frighten you. This place has seen a lot of it. Just look in the graveyard. The dead might tell you more than the living. Thank you. 
better see if I can locate the partisan HQ. Mistaking it. But where's Sophia? Satchel charges. Reckon I'm going to need these. Sophia's note says she's gone to the castle. Sounds like the partisans have got their work cut out. Maybe I should help them. Where there's a church, there's probably a graveyard. I'm not too late. Join us. She saved us. What are you waiting for? Let's go talk. You 
did well to find me at the castle. So it was a test, to see if I'm uh, committed to your cause. Our people were about to be executed. Past experience suggests we can't always rely upon the Allies. Is that what you want? A test? Try me. Very well. There is a railway gun parked on the viaduct. It's killed many of our people. If the Allies come this way, it'll kill many of your people too. There must be a reason you haven't taken it out yourselves. Consider it a challenge, Fadaban. Ah, the, uh, sniper. My name is Lucio. Yeah, Lucio, from the ruined castle. The angel got there in the nick of time. Yeah, she, uh, she saved us. She's, uh, an angel of mercy, huh? Uh, judging by the number of dead fascists, I'd say, uh, more like the angel of vengeance. <laughs> Maybe, but, um, she only kills evil men, huh? <laughs> and, uh, what about you? You only kill evil men? But of course. <laughs> Carl, <laughs> I heard you uh, talk to an angel. Eventually. Listen now. I have an informant, a man named Dorfman, high up in the Nazi hierarchy. You trust him? Well, Dorfman's been a reliable source before now. Says there's a major ammunition cache in the vicinity of the viaduct. And you want me to destroy it? Need you ask. Question is, how?
Good work on the partisans, Carl. OSS is mighty pleased. And what with that? And, uh, Sicily? Heard Operation Husky went pretty smoothly for you guys. Also heard Eisenhower has bigger plans. A, uh, mainland invasion. Ike always has bigger plans, Carl. The point is that we've poked the hornet's nest. Things are stirring. What things? This from your informant? Dorfman? Nah, not this time. This is straight from our boys in aerial reconnaissance. There's a dockyard down the coast from here. The Germans are moving something. Any idea what that something might be? There's a lot of security, so whatever it is, it's gonna be darn valuable. Which is where I come in, huh? Got it in one, my friend. But we need specifics. What it is, where it's moving. And then what? Sounds like the Germans have got themselves a big operation. Husky means we've got some bombers in the area. Now, once you do what you, uh, gotta, well, why don't you just give them flyboys a nod? The Angel know how bad it is. She's our leader. She has other concerns. Without her, we are nothing. I get the feeling she doubts herself. She stepped in when Böhm's people snatched their father. He was an extraordinary man. He casts a long shadow, I understand. She's a worthy successor to her father. If only she knew that. So Bohm's people took him. No one ever saw a body. That's gotta be hard on her. It's not just that, Carl. OSS knew her father had been taken. But he wasn't classified. A strategic asset. So they did nothing to help him. Nothing. Some looking blade. It was my father's. Was? Bomb's people took him in the dead of night. There's been no word. Nothing. Ever since. I'm sorry. There is a quotation from a poet. A mighty flame follows a tiny spark. My father was a spark. That's why they followed him. The partisans? I didn't realize. He was my father. And their leader. It's a tough act to follow. Yes. It is. But unless I find the body, I won't stop hoping. Hope is what carries us through. Feeling good about your little victory at the viaduct? Did as you asked. Thank you for that, Lieutenant. But the party's ends are hanging by a thread. We need ammo, fuel, medicine. Madre Madonna, we need a medicine. Typhus? It's sweeping Alagra. Some of our people are already showing signs of infection. We know the Nazis are transporting vaccines via the dockyard. If you could find out where it is. I'll see what I can do. <sighs> Something on your mind? A man called La Terza. The harbor master. Friend of yours? A more venal, corrupt individual you could not hope to meet, except, of course, for that bastard, Bum. Not a friend, then. He's a traitor. Many of our people is sent to their deaths. Someone should, uh, make an example of him. Is that so?
place is crawling with guards. Better keep to the shadows if I'm gonna get the information I need. This must be the harbor master's office. Might be worth nosing around. Useful to know. That must be Laterza, the harbor master. He's the one Lucio told me to kill. Although the noise is liable to bring me some unwanted attention. looking for. The document says the shipments are being sent to Alagra, and they've been having problems with the Mafia stealing from the dockyard. Useful to know. Jackpot. Some sort of guidance system. Red Fox calling Texas Cyclone. Darkness has dropped. Over. Dockyard proves it. Production of Kessler's missiles must be in full swing. The components I found couldn't have been for any other purpose. Sure, we wrecked the operation. But how many of these components have already been shipped to Alagra? How close are the Nazis to mass production of the new missile? One thing's for certain. The Mafia were the ones disrupting the operation at the dockyard. It's a connection OSS are keen to exploit. Especially given Mafia involvement in Operation Husky, in which the Allies took Sicily. Weaver wants me to meet Salvatore Dinelli, an infamous mob kingpin. He thinks I can convince him to work with the Allies and the Partisans. But everything comes at a price. Thirteen the bottle of Montenasca. Giorno Felice. Signor Dinelli. Call me Salvatore. It will suffice. Are we not friends, you and I? We have uh, mutual enemies. We'd like to help you dispose of them. I would like that too, my friend. You can begin with Piero Capo, the leader of the Black Brigade. The man is a barbarian. Is that so? The monastery is full of artworks, paintings, sculptures, beautiful works. 
I have it on good authority that Cabo plans to remove those works. To sell? But of course, such treasures would fetch a great sum on the black market. If we knew how he plans to move them, then we could do something about it. Of course. If we are to truly call ourselves friends, Cabo will have to be dealt with. We understand each other, huh? Sure. I understand. Good. Cabo wears a, a rosary given to him by his mother. He's never parted from it. Bring it to me. And I will know you have done your job. Those anti-tank guns will decimate the Allies if we come this way. You think that's likely? Well, the Germans seem to think so. It's quiet now, but they've been firing on and off for the best part of a week. It could start up at any moment. Better neutralize them, Carl. The sniper. I hear you want to be our friend. War makes for strange alliances. <laughs> the monastery is Capo's kingdom. But you'll never get in unless you take out Castle Hill. Castle Hill guards the monastery? Mm hmm. Makes sense. Certainly seems the monastery is being looked after. That's because of the abbot. He helped the fascists. Worked for them. All to protect his precious monastery and its treasures. Like I said, strange alliances. <laughs> no time to admire the scenery. Got to deal with Capo. Something for your good friend, Signor Donelli.
the rosary. Proof enough. Nelly is jubilant with confirmation that Piero Capo has been neutralized. He's been as good as his word, and offered his full support. Guess for him it's a matter of honor. Not that the partisans necessarily want Danelli's help. Many in the resistance have as much reason to despise the Mafia as they do the fascists. Weaver's informant has contacted him again. Major Hans Dorfman, one of Boehm's top men. His adjutant, no less. This time, he says he has information he must deliver in person. Says he knows where Kessler is. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Receiving you, Red Fox. Magazino Coastal Facility, unusually successful at sinking Allied shipping. Neutralize naval guns and radar technology. Out. Red Fox out. Ah! The SOE Commando. <laughs> I should shoot you. Berlin would hail me as a big war hero. <laughs> Something tells me you're not interested in medals. Where is Andreas Kessler? We need him alive. Oh. Kessler is up at the coastal facility in Magazzino, buried with his books and booze. <laughs> Why should I trust you? Why would anyone trust a traitor? Weifer knows my intelligence is good. Was I not correct about the ammunition hall? You survived up, no? Small fry. Listen, Lieutenant, the, the war is becoming unpredictable. If the Allies push through... I get it. You're just hedging your bets. All I ask is you remember me. If and when... The time comes, Lieutenant. Danelli not trust me? <laughs> You're our friend now, Carl. Signor Dinelli just wants to make sure you're safe. I nailed Piero Capo for him. I've done my part. You need to do yours. Help us. Help the partisans. Perhaps some um, information would convince you of our good intentions? Try me. The components from the dockyard. They were transported here. Interesting. Why? Who knows? <laughs> Perhaps the Germans are hiding something. We are friends now, huh? Sure we are. <laughs> <laughs> Things are hotting up. Kessler. Not just Kessler. The coastal facility at Magazino is a key code-breaking center. Let's find out how much Bohm's people know about the Allied plan, right? I'll see what I can do. What else? Well, Donnelly's as good as his word. He's got information for us. What is it? Bohm is a confidant. Goes by the name of Major Klaus Rothbauer. Those two have been in communication regularly. You think he knows Bohm's plans? Racing certainty, my friend. Let's go get him. Whoa, muchacho! Rothbauer's mansion is heavily fortified. Even for you, it would be impossible, Carl. 
No, no, for now, let's focus on the coastal facility as our priority. Kessler must be fitting the guidance system before they're taken to Allegra. But how many have already been shipped? Andreas Kessler. Who the hell are you? You're coming with me. What's going on? Huh? Time to get up. Huh? Easy does it, Professor. Just a little girl playing at being an adult. What could you possibly do to hurt me? I was an nurse. Did you know that? Before all these started. Which means I know exactly how to hurt you. Do you understand me, little man? Meine Liebe, you cannot kill me. Zeller. He's right, Sophia. Give me the knife. Do you know how he builds his precious rockets? How many slave laborers died to make those missiles fly? We need him. Just like we need Dinelli. This man is a Nazi scum! Dinelli is a mass murdering criminal! We need him. Both of them. You might, not us. We're better than that. You know what? I will tell you something, meine Liebe, about your precious father. My father, what do you know? Tell me what you know! The others must leave. Okay. But Giancarlo stays. Think they're safe together? Why do you think I took the blade? Better find out what he told her. Sophia! Fox calling Mother Hen. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Receiving you, Red Fox. Intercept and destroy truck carrying enemy propaganda. Out. Red Fox. Out. Carl, the partisans have done us a huge favor. What do you mean? Well, Kessler, he told Sophia her father's still alive and being held at an interrogation block somewhere in Giovi Fiorini. Rothbauer. You got it. 
this is the distraction we needed. We know Rothbauer and Bohm met about a week ago. Rothbauer is, uh, Bohm's confidant. In my opinion, I have Nazis don't talk. They'd rather swallow cyanide. Rothbauer's just a pawn. See, what we need is evidence of Bohm's plan. What's happened? She's taken the others. All of them. There's an interrogation block ten miles from here. Because of what Kessler said to her? Her father, Karl. Kessler says her father is still alive. Where is this place? At Jovi Fiorini. To the northeast of here. Karl, the things they did to our people in that place. You cannot imagine. Why did she trust Kessler? The details. He knew too much about her father's kidnapping, Carl. Plus... What? Sophia doesn't trust you. Or Weaver. She thinks you betrayed her, like the OSS betrayed her father. By not preventing the kidnapping, by... <laughs> by not attempting a rescue? Exactly. Quite a stench. <laughs> Is that your interrogation technique? Ah, you don't have to be a genius to know who's going to win this war. You're uh, quite sure of yourself, aren't you? Why wouldn't I be? I'm unique. I'm of equal value to either side in this conflict. As such, I cannot be harmed. There's something you're not telling us. How perceptive of you, Lieutenant. I'm dying. My liver is, uh, <laughs> kaput. I'll be lucky to see Christmas, let alone the end of the war. Expect me to feel sorry for you? I expect you to realize why it was so easy to kidnap me. Sophia's father... Died many months ago. You set us up. Dorfman set us up. Ah, all that effort, and I'm of no use to you or the fatherland. I am, uh, what's the expression? A, a busted flush. I think I've grabbed all I can. <laughs> Bombs insignia. Looks like I've struck gold. Javi Fiorini. The town's name will be forever associated with the massacre of the Allegrand partisans. 
They fought bravely by all accounts, but stood no chance against the Nazi war machine. How could they? They'd walked directly into a trap. I couldn't find Sophia, the angel, amidst the carnage. But then many of the bodies were burnt beyond recognition. The partisans hadn't died in vain, though. Their sacrifice meant we'd been able to grab the intelligence we needed. Boehm knows about Operation Avalanche, the Allied plan to invade mainland Italy. If the fleet is attacked, the results will be catastrophic. The Nazis' grip on Europe will become ever tighter, squeezing the life from her. And there's something else, something vital. USS Ancon is the command ship for Operation Avalanche, which means the primary target is the Allied Commander-in-Chief. Bomb is going to kill General Eisenhower. The strike will be launched from a Nazi base in the mountains of Alagra. With the partisans wiped out, Dinelli's mobsters are the only people capable of guaranteeing my safe passage through the mountains. Weaver is setting up a bombing run, but it's up to me to call it in. Maybe I can grab some intel on the Germans' plans for their new toys, as well as making sure nothing can be salvaged. In the end, it comes down to this. I have to stop those missiles. Guaranteed Kessler will talk to us. We need the technical specifications for the missile. Technical specifications for the missile. London will be very happy. Signaling the bombing run will have to wait till I've dealt with the mass production facility. Better put this out of action too. all the missiles dealt with. Better call in the bombing raid. Mother Hand, this is Red Fox. Send your regards. I repeat, send your regards to Allegra. All I wanted was the Angel. I didn't know the partisans would follow her to their deaths. <laughs> they followed her because she gave them hope. They died heroes. Hope, in reality, is the first of all evils. Because it prolongs the torments of man. Friedrich Nietzsche. <laughs> General Bohm, I presume. The worst terrors are shame. Formless. If no one knows who I am, I can be whoever I need to be. I can uh, manipulate. <laughs> I can avoid detection if need be. I could be a man. Oh. <laughs> or a monster. Dorfman or Bone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have Kessler, and the production facilities are wrecked. Uh, Kessler will be dead. 
before he's any use to the Allies. And as for your little, uh, mischief <laughs> in the production facility, well, it's just too late. Yeah, I'm going to start with the USS Anchor. The illustrious General Eisenhower. I'll take the Allied fleet, ship by ship. Operation Avalanche will be extinguished before it's even begun. See, if only this was enough. But, uh, it's not. Bring her in here! There is no hope here. Not anymore. We're going to torture her. Yeah. And, uh... You're going to watch. <laughs> Lieutenant. <laughs> All it takes... is a spark. Sophia sacrificed herself so I could escape. Better make sure it wasn't in vain. including Eisenhower's command ship, Ancon, was saved. Avalanche happened as planned. The U.S. 5th Army and British 8th fighting their way up the Italian mainland. The Angel was dead. 
but the spark she ignited spread like wildfire, clearing the way for the Allies. But the path to Rome would be treacherous, and it'd be another year before we broke through the Gothic line, the Germans' main line of defense. They did it without us, the townsfolk. Pushed him out before the 5th Army even got here. All it took was a spark. Talking of which, I hope 617 Squadron didn't singe your limey ass. <laughs> Let's just say it was a little tight. I thought you were giving me a bit more leeway. Carl, you and I are utterly expendable. You know that. Not like your man there. The professor <laughs> hasn't got long left. Trust me, though, we'll squeeze what we can out of him. More to the point, uh, what about you, Carl? What's you gonna do? The man who saved Ike Eisenhower! Woo-wee! <laughs> OSS could sure use someone with your talents. That sounds like a job offer. Doesn't it, though? I'll think about it. Sure thing. Don't think about it too long. We got a war to win. <laughs>